All right, internet, we are back. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Let's take a look at the full size, shall we? We shall. So the first thing I think I want to talk about, well, I don't know about the first thing, but um, I've got the original T5, T4 loophole. Let's take a look at that real quick. Because there's something about this where it already feels like a classic. Especially as we look at these other ones, there's just something about this, especially with the buttons. You've got these buttons. Now, I did polish it up. It looks really good polished up, fresh. Um, the bearing may be a little worked. It's a little grindy, but I actually like the feedback that it gets. Um, but yeah, there's just something about these female neurals, that little bit of the lines that are in there, the feeling, the texture of this. There's something about it that just feels very classic and old school already, and we're not that deep into the spinner game, and these didn't come out all that long ago. A couple months for sure. I don't know, four or five months maybe? Maybe a little bit more. What are we, in November? I think it was March when the loophole started coming out. Maybe? No, maybe a little later than that. Anyway, not too long, but yeah, something about this feels like a classic already. It's funny how quick the spinner game is changing right now, so we'll see what happens to the to the game um, as, it, as it develops. But yeah, de-shielded it so I can clean it a little easier. Um, I should say, taking these guys out, if you are taking and removing the bearings out, you gotta pay attention. I didn't realize this one, there's a slight little lip on this side. And then this one, you can see pretty much the whole bearing where it's kind of hard to tell, but this side has a little bit of a lip that's covering the bearing. So you can't push it out this way. You've got to push it out that way. Um, so I was kind of banging on a little bit this way. Didn't realize it was in one way versus the other, but everything seemed to work out fine. So the bearing doesn't really see them, seem that much worse for the wear. Um, but yeah, so we've got this old school classic laser engraved with a number that they don't really do anymore. So this one kind of feels special now to me. So big thanks to Ryan for uh, hooking that up catch and release <laughs> sort of an inside joke for him i might have mentioned it but anyway let's leave the buttons off because we might uh, we, we might play around with those buttons a little bit so let's look at some of the other offerings we got here we've got a very interesting i hadn't seen this t3 pattern before so when i got this um this is one of the ones i asked uh alex about when we were talking about bronze if you remember my last video i was talking alex reached out to me um said he wanted to send me a bunch of stuff i said sweet so he sent me you know i'd, I'd casually mentioned bronze i didn't even realize they had done one and he not only had they done them he still had one to send me so let's take a look at this bronze uh next to this brass so this is the brass and the bronze that he sent me now when i got them and the lighting isn't quite doing it justice uh, when i had gotten them they were the same just about the same color i couldn't actually tell them apart this one was a slightly lighter yellow than this and now we can actually sort of really see what bronze patina does so this is, if we look at these two, right, see if we can really get the lighting right. You see, you've got this nice yellow brass color. And then here is brass versus bronze. And they're very similar. This is just a little whiter, a little less of that yellow saturation. And it's just barely now starting to get a little bit of orangish browns in it. But looking at the sides, right, like they're very hard to tell the colors apart. But when you take a look at these two now... See how much more brownish, copperish color this is getting? Uh, what's also interesting is that this is patinaed very, very evenly. I didn't realize that that was a thing with bronze. Like, it's not patinaing kind of, like, all over the place based on fingerprints like brass does. It's also significantly harder than um, than brass. It's closer, I think, to stainless steel in density. If you watch Fabian's review of the bra uh, bronze cocoon, one of my grails, if someone wants to sell me one at retail, let me know. Um one of the bronze cocoons being like really hard and bronze is a harder metal than brass. Um, so, so yeah, so I don't know if that contributes to how it like patinas evenly. Um, now brass is a, uh, copper and, um, zinc like mix where bronze is a copper and, um, tin generally, it doesn't have to be tin. Um, but it is, um, generally a tin. So, um, and then if you look, you can kind of see here, the way it started that lighter yellow and it's getting nice and brown oh there we go sort of like these colors right here now you're really starting to see it because i haven't been using the cores too much not a huge fan of the cores they're not terrible um but i definitely prefer buttons to the cores like you get them in there and they do a decent amount of grip and they look gorgeous they look really good and they're kind of fun to play with in their own respect but for me they're just not quite big enough to provide the kind of grip that i appreciate from something like throwing a button on there do, 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 do. Get in there. Yep. 
So I really like this for a couple of reasons. One, this material, I'm loving how it's changing its color. Like it's really got me drawn into it. <clears throat> so bronze, I think is like my new favorite material. Um, it's pretty smooth. I've been jamming on this quite a bit and I've realized when I, a bearing sounds quiet in person, when I do it on video, I'm like, listen how quiet this is. And it sounds like, Brr. no, it's not quite as loud as it sounds. There's a little bit of a ringing from it, from the bearing. Uh, but all things considered, this is a pretty quiet, pretty smooth one. Um, and something about the combination of the bronze, the look of this guy, the feel. So this is really, really smooth, like extremely smooth. Like feels like a, the surface of like a, a portal or some of those other really excellent well-machined spinners. Um, you can see it's almost like a mirror finish on there to a degree, just machine smooth. So you don't feel any, any of what looks like almost like the machining lines along this. And then you've got some, a little bit of knurling, a little bit of texture, a little bit of jimping, jimping. Um, to give you a little bit of grip if you want to pull off there, but even pulling off on the smooth parts, it spins nice. Um, it's a really interesting character, this this shape, and I've kind of grown to like a little bit more. It's a little subtle when I start spinning some of these other other spinners. Was I just bumping the camera? I might have been. Start spinning some of these other spinners that allow for much more grip to give really more powerful folds. There's something more satisfying about that to me to a degree because, uh, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm a big fan of like the preloaded flicks, and you don't really get... You, you have to work a little harder to get that same sort of like preloaded, hey, I've just spun this as fast as this thing can possibly spin situation. So, um, but in any event, uh, yeah, I'm really digging this particular T3 design. And I'm not sure which one this is actually called or if it's like a T3, T20 mix because this sort of looks close to, I guess it would be more than that. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is just considered a T3. But if I'm wrong, let me know. But whatever that design is, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it, pretty happy with it. Um, this one, um, at first, I liked a lot, and I'm liking it a little bit as less as time goes on, but I still actually really enjoy this. Um, this is the T20, and much like when we were looking at this guy yesterday, for example, it almost makes it tricks you into thinking it's flat because of the the rounding starts kind of halfway down, so it almost looks like it's flat, but they, the edges just kind of keep rounding. You can watch the light reflect. Kind of doesn't really ever flatten out. Same thing with this. So this is just a smooth kind of like smooth groove. Now this one does have flats, the T20 and the Mini, um, where this one does not. So this one gives you a little bit more. You still get some of that kind of buzzsaw, a little tickling your 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 pads feel, uh, but still spins really nice. It gives all, you get a lot of grip on it. Um, same thing with the other loopholes before. If I hold my finger down like this, it almost feels a little loose. But holding like this um, is kind of cool. Um, these are also fun to show off. People have enjoyed seeing all these sitting on my desk for a week. So, spin, 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 spin. Pretty good. Uh, let's look at the copper for a minute. So, copper still just copper. I still just doesn't really do it for me as a material. But the T6 is pretty pretty nice. And again, you can feel the softness of the material. Um, spins really well. Nice and smooth too. Really, really smooth. So, uh, yeah, we'll try this one for a second because this one I think is the smoothest. That's, no, it's not. It was the copper. Copper's smoother. And again, that's why, you know, I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in yesterday's, I'm going to get all mixed up whether I've mentioned it in the previous video and then again in this one or not, but the tolerances are so tight on, on these larger bearings that um, the slightest amount of variance can cause even the exact same bearing to feel different in another spinner. So you take this bearing from this guy, put it in this one, it may feel different just because some very, very slight variations. Plus, when they come from the factory, um, uh, Alex doesn't think they're completely 100% clean, so some may have a little bit of lube in there. So, um, But again, I think most people with ring spinners want them to be quiet and a little more discreet, so I don't think you're too concerned about having that in there, although it may allow for gunk to get caught up a little easier. I think I was trying to make that point yesterday. I might have left it out. But you've got the shields in there uh, that you can kind of take out to get away with that. So uh, obviously just to, to clean them out. And they're easier. I find the shields are much easier to take out of these than they are on like uh, like a one drop bearing or something like that. Um, I actually recorded a video on how to remove the shield from a bearing and uh, apparently there was a bug with iOS that caused some weird flickering and shaking in the in the camera or image stabilization issues. And um, I had issues getting the shield out. So I, we just, I just scrapped that video. I'll do another one at some point here. So, <clears throat> but uh, it is what it is. So yeah, really enjoying these full-size loopholes. For me, this is really where the money's at. Um, I think it's it's kind of the original design, and I think they really got it right. Um, so they've got a bunch of different versions, a bunch of different sizes, and for the most part, they're all pretty unique. Like if I hold these two together, these two are close enough where I think if you've got a T6 and a T5, you really don't need a different one. Um, but if you have them in different materials, there's definitely a feeling where I can feel the difference in the copper versus the stainless steel. The copper, see? I don't know how, but I can. And then again, in the in the bronze, like this is magic. 
I don't know if bronze is just a harder material for people to get or not as much demand or what it is, but you don't see it that often. So uh, get yourself some bronze if you can, because look at it, just look at it patina so evenly. It's just getting brown. Love it. Dig it. I'm really excited about this guy. Uh, but there's definitely a, a place where having multiple loopholes isn't silly or as silly as I kind of maybe thought it was when I first started seeing people buy on like 20 loopholes. Like, also, you can do this. Which kind of has its own fun. It's pretty heavy. I don't think we weighed these. Let's weigh them real quick. Can we do that? Can we do that, internet? And then we'll all uh, say sayonara. Oh, let's get that off of there. It's a little cold. It's, uh, that's what we're doing in the car. 29 and cloudy. Oh, where's my Apple stock? Sun's going to set at 420. Uh, <clears throat> I still haven't reset my timer on my watch from the other day when I was doing the Road of Stone. Still 124. Sorry, this is tough. I kind of have to hold it. Space is at a premium here in the car review. People, 40 grams. 40 grams, essentially. So like four times 37 grams, three to four times the weight of those minis. A lot more material here. 43 grams. And 35. It's funny, the one I like the most is the lightest. Uh, I don't know how that goes sometimes, eh, internet? A eh, old internets? Um, downsides for these, I can't really think of some other than they're a little larger. So depending on like if you're trying to get it on a situation like this, you still can do it, especially if you kind of let it lock in on that knuckle for me. Um, isn't too bad, and it's it's not too bad to kind of have here. With the 19 millimeters for me, it's way too large for my pinky just to kind of leave on there and feel like I'm not going to lose it. Uh, but I still can spin it. The 19 millimeters is big enough for my thumb. Um, so for me, 19 millimeters isn't a bad size. But for me, this is really where I want it. Second knuckle right here. Jamming on it all day. Spin times on these guys, I did test a couple of them. They do seem to vary, but anywhere from a minute to two minutes is what you can expect from a uh, from loophole. Oh, remember when I dropped this yesterday? in the side of the car. I couldn't quite get my finger in there with the ring. I had to take my ring off and just realize I had it off for this review. So I'm still married, ladies. All the ladies that watch my channel. Um, yeah. Um, so the cores, the cores, we didn't really talk about those, I think, too much. They just pop in with little low rings. A lot of times you'll see people get a loophole and they're like, how do I take the buttons off? And it's okay. They don't know. we got to teach them, internet. We just push those cores right out. Um, I talked to Alex as well about how much I like these buttons. And like the option of having buttons, even if it's sort of like an aftermarket thing. So, um, you know, he mentioned, um, you know, he had some interest in trying to maybe redo buttons at some point. But again, with the success he's having and everything he wants to do, you know, you got to pick your battles. Like it takes time to do any of that stuff. So I'm not saying he's going to make buttons again or anything like that. But I'm just saying I, I think it would be cool. And um, I think he knows that it would be cool as well. Um, it's just a matter of, again, what's what's uh, what's it going to be worth it to him? So, um yeah, you can do some fun things with these two. I've seen people do. Like, you can put it in kind of sideways and make it dance. Oh, look at that. Kind of popped right in there. And it goes. So, anywho, that's the loophole, folks. Um, really, really great ring spinners. Um, offering a ton of variation. They almost feel like the woosaw of ring spinners to me. Like, they got a really good cult following. Oh. See that little shaking or juddering? I don't know what that was. I, don't, I wasn't hitting anything. Um, anyway. Um, it seems like, I shouldn't even say like a cult following, but they've definitely got a real solid dedicated fan base. Um, and I think there's merit to picking up multiple versions of each of these, right? So um, you can just have one and be good with just one. I, you know, I was really good with just this one, but I appreciate having both of these. I'm going to keep this one at the very least. And I have this one as mine and I don't feel like, oh, I have two similar ring spinners. They feel really different. So that's the um, loophole by premium spinners, if I didn't say. I think I said it was a loophole, full size, multiple variations, really solid, rock solid little spinners. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave you with the, uh, let's put the uh, bronze button, the bronze slug in there. I'll leave you with the internet. Can Hobby Timmy recommend it? These get a two thumbs up recommendation for sure. I think you need to have one of these in your collection. Again, for me, this is the one that I prefer, but there's certainly nothing wrong with the smaller size. If you like the mini spinners, you like the micro spinners, I think you'll be happier with these. A little more discreet, a little more pocketable, um, a little more sneaky on the hand. I'm getting a good spin time on this one right now. I didn't expect it to go this long. Should we just let it run out? We can kind of time it. I'm sure I can think of something to talk about. 
I should say I do appreciate everybody that watched my live stream. For me, it was last night. It would have been Sunday night. <clears throat> we did um, we did a giveaway. Um, I'm right around 4,000 subscribers. Um, so it might be over 4,000 now, almost a million views, um, which is pretty exciting for me. That's I never really thought it would be that successful. Um, you know, it's not like successful, like making a ton of money on it. I did talk about that in the live stream as well. So, um, if you're on the Facebooks, I did post that live stream. It's about two hours long, so you can go and check it out. Um, I do plan on doing, um, for, for, for the while I just plan on doing giveaways on you on Facebook because those are the people I interact with more. Um, I certainly do interact with the YouTube community, but I didn't do it enough where it just seemed like Facebook was a better place to do it. But I definitely do plan on doing at least a couple giveaways here and there on this channel as well. So for those of you not on the Facebook, don't feel sad. Um, you know, if you're, a, you know, I'm not a fan of Facebook either. I'm kind of really the whole social media thing I'm actually not really into. I'm in it mainly just for the spinners um, and some of the other community stuff that I'm into. So even if you don't do anything on Facebook, Facebook is kind of, I think, uh, a bit of a demon. But when it comes to this, the the community for hobbies and stuff like that, like, it seems like forums are a thing of the past. I used to troll a lot of forums. Everything's on Facebook now. So don't be afraid to get a Facebook account um, just to in engage with the communities and, you know, keep it kind of separate from your own personal life um, to get in on some of that stuff. So, uh, anywho, there it is. Loophole in bronze. Well, in a lot of colors, but again, I love me some bronze. So, kisses, internet.